Hello, Michael Voris here. Before we start today's Vortex episode, remember that you can watch this episode and all the videos and content we produce over at churchmilton.com. There's Vortex, of course. There's headlines, the download, the one true faith, where did the Bible come from, case files, saint of the day, all sorts of free and premium shows, not to mention daily news and commentary on current events relevant to the Catholic world. So please click the link after the video, and we'll see you at churchmilitant.com. God bless you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Some things that the modernist Church of Nice does are so completely nuts, so insipid, so insane, that it's almost embarrassing to report on it. Yet, there it is, right out there for the whole world to see. Case in point, the Conference of Catholic Bishops in Iowa, formerly known as the Iowa Catholic Conference, they assemble together a Lenten reflection and meditation book that is 88 pages long for the faithful to read and pray over and reflect on and meditate on to heighten their spiritual awareness for Lent. It has something you can think about and then do each day of Lent. And the overall thrust of it is to not make you holier or bring to mind a sharp awareness of your own mortality, which remember is how Lent begins on Ash Wednesday. Nope, the geniuses at the Iowa Catholic Conference have put together a tome on how you can conserve water and develop an awareness of global water quality. Not kidding here, folks. Still think the church isn't in crisis? The holy season of Lent, meant to prepare us through mortification and fasting, prepare us for our deaths, as well as to be ready to rejoice in the great celebration of Easter, has been converted to a social justice initiative concentrating on water. If you're finding this hard to believe, we've attached a link to the idiotic document. And don't get us wrong, water quality and availability are important issues, no doubt, absolutely. But they are wholly inappropriate for Lent. Lent is about a spiritual journey, not a social awareness campaign. But this is just further proof of how the modernists in the church have simply taken over and co-opted all things Catholic and then converted them to their use to take your minds off the things of heaven and turn them to the things of earth. In electing the Church of Nice, the modernists have done this in every facet of Catholic life. Liturgy, prayer, music, education, devotion, art, architecture, you name it, they haven't left one stone unturned. And to make the point even more clear, we've put together a little chart of normal terms you would expect to come across in a Catholic document given to Catholic faithful by Catholic bishops about the Catholic liturgical season of Lent. Terms, for example, like Jesus, cross, mortification, heaven, hell, salvation, damnation, penance, death, sacrifice, offering, fasting, prayer, almsgiving, soul, and divine. In any normal reflection of Lent presented in a normal Catholic manner, it would be extremely difficult to provide anything of substance to the faithful without using most or all of those words at least once, well, in the 88 pages of this document, here's how many times each of those words, those terms, those words were used. Jesus, three. Cross, zero. Mortification, zero. Heaven, zero. Hell, zero. Salvation, zero. Damnation, zero. Penance, zero. Death, one. Sacrifice, zero. Offering, one. Fasting, one. Prayer, ooh, seven times. Almsgiving, one. Soul, one. And divine, zero. So we scoured through the document and looked for social justice buzzwords, such as global, carbon, as in either footprint or emissions, environment, water, ecology, ecosystems, world, nature, human, and man. Well, here were the number of times each of these terms appeared in the bishop's Lenten reflection to make you holier document. Global, seven. Carbon, either footprint or emissions, 18. Environment, 32. Water, 251. Ecology, 18. 
Ecosystems, 30. World, 41. Nature, 15. Human, 33. And man, 77. The document was signed on behalf of his brother bishops by Richard Pates, the Bishop of Des Moines. The bishops of Iowa believe that during this holy season of Lent, that is much more important for you to consider and meditate on worldly things than spiritual things, sometimes dozens of times more important. This document is called Caring for Our Common Home, a Lenten Reflection for Iowans, and it is ridiculously inappropriate for Lent. But understand, this is what the Church of Nice is all about. Jesus did not come to redeem us, but to make sure we all had clean water. This fake Lenten document could have been written by the United Nations. We keep saying things are going to get much worse before they get better. Do you need any more proof? God love you. I'm Michael Voris. Thanks for watching this episode of The Vortex. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and head over to churchmilitant.com to watch The Vortex headlines, download, Saint of the Day, and countless premium videos on church history, teaching, and apologetics. We have hundreds of hours of videos as well as articles and stories you won't find at any other Catholic outfit. And don't forget, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So be sure to follow us there as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you over at churchmilton.com. God love you.